got the audio working. Uh, sometimes my computer is just like rejected. Uh, I don't know why. Sometimes it doesn't like my um, my headphones. They're USB, and I don't know. One of the one of the USB ports on top of my computer just straight up doesn't work, and I think the other one might be going in and out. Um, I don't know, I do a lot of landing, and so it's possible that the connections are just loose. I should probably check on that. But anyway, I just have to... Um, turn it off the mic on again. Not the computer, just the unplug and replug. <laughs> oh man, she don't deserve now. I definitely equipped her, but it was two days ago, and I can't be expected to remember what in the fuck I did two days ago. Yes, I did do that. Okay. Now we go to the Aoife tree. Question mark. And... Hey, it's the Gargan Rue plants. Oh no, I cannot go in. What do? Um, I legit do not remember what I'm supposed to do about this. <laughs> I, like, apparently do not remember past the, um, first disc. Well, I'm clearly not supposed to be here. I guess we'll go back in there and then go out the other exit in the mountain path. I'm trying to remember the last time I played this. It was several years ago at least. I guess would explain why I don't remember much about it. Oh shit, I had Ico hit instead of the girl. Ico should be the actual healer right now. kind of sort of hit a little bit. Not like a ton, but, you know, kind of. More than I tell, anyway. So if I can't figure this out kind of, um, within a reasonable amount of time, I'll just go look at it. But I feel like if I was supposed to be there, somebody in my party, like Aiko, who's from here, would be like, hey, by the way, this is what you do. But also maybe not. Who is these guys? Small goblin. Who are you hitting? Nobody really. Shockingly hard for a healer. Considering what Ico does, which is essentially nothing. I don't really want to 
want to be casting a shitload because I don't really know what I'm doing. <laughs> and it's probably okay if I save some of those ethers. Okay, let's go out the other side. Over here. And see what's up over here. Ah. Bless these to dust. Question mark. Oh goodness, it's where we're supposed to be. Meren sorry. It's a dump. <laughs> it's a bombed out shell. Koopa! <laughs> the Moogles! Little Mog! Oh no! <laughs> there he is! All fat and sassy and definitely not eaten. <laughs> Happy little Moogle party. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Don't worry about it. How does he fit? It's a mystery. Oh no. Yeah, but don't read into it. You're a child. <laughs> Just eight million questions. <laughs> That's how kids do, I guess. I don't really know. I don't really interact with kids much. Well, he'd like to be more than friends. But he chases every girl he comes across, so... <laughs> They're married! <laughs> Technically. Phoebe! Sure thing. Poor Gigi. It's a lot to take in. Mr. 288. Mm. I don't think anybody really does. That's a real existential thought, buddy. can't let that existential dread in. Just push it away. Oh, Vivi. Fear. Buddy.
Yes, I thought so. I was like, I'm pretty sure there's a Stelazio around here. I hope I haven't missed any. I think I have two more to give to Bird Lady. Hmm, how could you possibly be related since you can also summon? Yeah, she a bitch. You missed them? Well, you gotta think of some time. I wonder why. Couldn't possibly have anything to do with that FMV we saw at the beginning, right? Not allowed. Oh, uh, Quina! Quina! Yeet! <laughs> can't really tell them what to do. They just kind of do whatever they're gonna do. Rude. Presumably there's like fish and stuff. She's got a whole ass little kitchen. Oh, I do remember this. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, no, she knows they're happening, she just isn't entertaining them. Mostly because he hits on everyone. Ugh. Don't perpetuate gender stereotypes, I go. Potato stew. That sounds disgusting. Oop. Oh no, his bomb bomb. Fish. That is true. Fish. Fish and stew. Um, sure. Go, Chimomo. Uh, yeah, all right. Go, Mocha. And Mama Toast helps in the kitchen. I don't know if that's the right way to do it, but that's what we're doing. I don't really care if it turns out okay. Aww. Poor little Aiko. She's all alone. Is that like all the things? Can we get any more things? Aha! And tent. Hi, Zizi. To, oh, <laughs> I was just about to say, try not to do too much thinking. It doesn't always help. Okay, buddy. Neat. Let's go. I'm assuming it's in the restricted area. Uh, four plus however many Moogles there are. Vivi, I mean, yeah. Oh my goodness. So many Moogle. Ten P. 
people to cook for. I don't know if Moogles eat as many. Ten people. Uh, unless Quinna shows up. Uh, no. <laughs> Although we did catch a bunch of Oglops, and I guess that's what that's for. <laughs> Nuts. Good job, Chimono. Oh no, it's gonna be Quinna. showing up to cause mischief. One big agent of chaos. that girl at? She done wandered off. Um, where is she? <laughs> Did she leave? Ah. Right, she came down here during the little side thing. Magic stuff. So we learned a bunch of stuff about our pets today. The first is that um, Obi likes broccoli. Which I didn't know, because I had never tried to give him broccoli before. He really likes apples. He hasn't disliked anything we've given him so far. Although we're careful to only give him things that he can eat. Um, and then the other thing that we found out... Oh, Quinna. Oh no! A misunderstanding. Maybe I should have cooked for 11 since it's Quinna. Although I think she eat, or they eat for quite a lot. <laughs> Quinna will take over cooking, probably. Uh, duh. Quinna is a Q. Eleven people. Oh 
Oh no. Zizi can help. So the other thing we found out um, is that my cat Ganymede who we've had for three years, has only just now decided to be a total jackass <laughs> and play with uh, the toilet paper rolls on the toilet paper dispenser thing. She just did it for the very first time yesterday where she like unrolled a bunch and then like tore it up. Um, yesterday, like evening, as far as I can tell. And then she did it again today. What a little jackass. So we had to flip all the toilet paper rolls around and now we are a household that has backwards toilet paper rolls. Oh. Ooh, fish. Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> Yay, Vivi. <laughs> Quinna did it. Aww. I stopped moving. Oh man. I forgot that everybody in nine is so fucking depressing. <laughs> oh, she's six. She's so little. And I guess, yeah, Garnet is 16, 17? She left before the catastrophe. Maybe after? I don't remember. It must have been after. Oh yeah, she just turned 16. <laughs> That's a pretty long time. It's 10 years, girl. Do you have Fenris? doesn't. <laughs> oh my goodness. got a crush. <laughs> uh, he's pretty rude. I wonder how that could have happened. Got the plates. We 
are helping. <laughs> yep. Something else pop up? And coffee. Plus this stuff. Oh, wasn't there somebody who Sir Fratley? It me, Master Hunter. Yeah, I think there's somebody... Right, it's the guy by the windmill. Um, by, uh, Dolly. Likes coffee beans. <laughs> Chomp. Virgo. Watching the sunset from the cape, Virgo whispered, My only wish is to be with you. Libra was a per perverse fellow. <laughs> he would always walk in the opposite direction of the fun. The fun. The sun. Would he ever see Virgo? <laughs> Hi, Quinna. Can I not talk to Quinna right now? Oh, Quinna. You're so precocious. Total rejection. Probably not great. The owls are out. Phoebe, why are you awake? Ugh. Yeah, I know that feeling, buddy. Ugh. Poor buddy. You kind of just have to, like, learn to live with it. Move forward. But there just aren't... You're gonna have to wait a while, girl. Oh no. Oh, are they peeing? <laughs> Does Vivi have to pee? <laughs> An age-old ritual between men. <laughs> Did 
Technically, girls pee together, too. That's good. Okay, so now we go to the ether tree. she is. That little sneak. Where could she be? <laughs> I guess we're stuck with three casters for longer. Yeah, but Garnet can. Well, she doesn't really know how. She just has Rama. Wiping. <laughs> Everybody does it sometimes. Help! Help! I am idiot. stuff. Not really stuff that I need, but you know, stuff. Pinwheel. What in the heck? Ah. bunch of gents. I'm good. Let's go talk to Quinna if we can. I'll try. No promises. Sometimes it pays to go back and investigate before you go forward. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. I need to stop just saying okay every time <laughs> a window comes up. Still just catching fish? Really? Really, girl? Oh. Really? Person? Also, to be honest, I think in the context in which I used it, girl is gender neutral. Just like dude. Or guy. Or bruh. It's girl with a U. There is no gender attached. There yet, where all those tantalizing treasure boxes are at. Okay, bye. <laughs> Oh 
Okay. And then, because I'm paranoid AF, I'm gonna save before we go in there. Because I don't remember what I'm doing. I only kind of vaguely remember things, and I have weird impressions. Like, I'm pretty sure there's a Stelazio here. <laughs> and then other things are like, I don't even remember this boss fight, like, happening at all. It's bizarre what your brain holds on to. Like, all the little minutia I remember, and then a lot of the big shit I don't. There's mist here now. Oh, Vivi! Watch where you're stepping, bud. The Adelon. Bonk. Just body slam it. She did say that. Adelons and animals. I guess that's why she's friends with Moogles. Although, I mean, you can talk to Moogles, so... I guess you can technically talk to Adelons if they want to talk to you, too. Oh boy. So you didn't actually have to do that. It was just for dramatic effect. <laughs> okay. What is Ruby? Carbuncle. But poor you girl can only learn mama. Alright, we gotta finish learning Fenrir first. Although, honestly, Carbuncle is always super goddamn useful. Everybody's pretty much got good stuff on for right now. Let's proceed! I kind of vaguely remember this. I do remember last time I played that I um, accidentally passed the point of no return before I meant to. I meant to do some more, like, side questy shit, um, and I didn't realize that I was, like, if I did this next thing, that that was gonna be it. Um, I just had to go to the end. But, wow. That is a penis tree. Why did they shape the top of it to look like that? <laughs> that just straight up looks like glands. <laughs> What in the fuck? I don't have any, like, Asuna or anything. Mm. Well, let's see if we can kill this thing before it gets there. Alright, if we're gonna run into things that petrify, I'm pretty sure... Jelly. No? Oh, she's got it on already. Uh, you alright? Oh, 
Oh, fuck. So Titan is the one that's gonna make you white. I should have known. Obi, don't chase the cat. Oh, hi. Uh, Mochi, I have a letter for you. Oh wait, I have a letter for Kupo. But how am I supposed to keep it? This is an Iko shirt. A kid named Vivi came to the Black Mage Village. His eyes were so sad. Like he had the weight of the world on his shoulders. Kupo, hi Titan. Yes, you are right in front of my screen. I wanted to say good luck to him, but I couldn't, Kupo. I'm on your side, Vivi. Me too. Girl. Very heavy. You want me to take any mail for you? No. Girlfriend. <laughs> Thank you. She's gonna go sleep behind my monitor. She might not sleep, but she's gonna go lay back there. Okay, this looks... She looks very suspicious. She saw the dog. Oh my gosh, she is rubbing her face on my monitor and it's like wiggling it everywhere. can do it, BB. Oh no. Titan, you made them wipe. Your actions alone. Oh, that sucks. That'll happen sometimes. Whoop, you activated it. Here we go. Oh, big yawn. <laughs> it's an elevator. I'm shocked. I can't believe it. Fucking bravado. Just go by himself. Here we go. Man, just mist everywhere. Is that some kind of chest? I guess I can't get it up there yet. This one? Clunk. Nice. Cool. Thank you. That doesn't bode well. <laughs> I'm assuming I'm about to have to fight a boss. Um, but I don't remember what kind of boss. Presumably it's like... The Adelon is trapped in here. Maybe it's making all the mist. As I recall, you do turn off the mist. Oh, here's this penis tree again. Try looking at this thing. It's just straight up a penis. Well, some Persona bosses are legitimately just a penis. Like, no bones, just straight up it's a penis. Persona. Aha! Now everybody got the jelly. Except I don't. You don't got the jelly. She isn't ready for this jelly. 
Or rather, I don't think she's ready for this jelly. Mandragora, you say? I'm gonna throw some pots at people. Cause why not? I got them. They're not exactly expensive. Let's look at the cards I have. Ooh, I got so many cards now! Oh, that's the Mandragora. I just got another one. Whoa! Hot damn! All of the arrows. So many neat. I really probably should play cards at some point. <laughs> Wait. Oh no! I meant to go dip. Maybe I can go back before we have to take that leafy elevator. Let's get to the bottom of it. Unless Aiko is just gonna make us hop right on this thing. <laughs> She's like, it was probably fine. Sure. Well, whatever was in that chest, bye bye. Hmm, I wonder why. Whee! Maybe sit down. Or I guess you can use your little tail to, like, balance you. Um, the bottom of the tree? Oh, right, his name is Mog, not Kupo. Duh. I wonder where Kupo is. He just says Kupo. Kupo, Kupo, Kupo. you say. Oh no, there's Zambos. Uh, in that case, I wonder. She learned. Wasn't even paying attention. I mean, I don't have gear to upgrade her too, so it doesn't really matter. Truth. It must get funneled there somehow. Some nefarious reason, I'm sure. That I don't really remember. They use it to make the black mages. Maybe. 
everybody gets made somehow. Although the ethical ramifications of, like, making a different life form, I guess, are a little bit different than those of making a human infant. Especially because they didn't mean to make them sentient. And they have such a short lifespan. More Zambos. Oh! He's a big dragon! Zambo dragon? Yep. Draco zombie? <laughs> Boss or what? off. Hmm. Oh yeah, it's the weird, like, energy harp thing. It's like some kind of bio machine. Fucking weird, dude. Also, why was there a Moogle living in it? Oh no, Mog. Yeah, it's like the plant, the like, the Mako of Final Fantasy IX, I guess, I'm assuming. That's the only way I have thought about it. Oh my gosh, Iko. Now is not the time. Pretty. <laughs> oh my goodness. She's read way too many, like, romantic plays. Yes! Finally, some self-awareness. Stop throwing lines at people. It's not cute. Instead, maybe. Wait, what did she say? Oh, look at it again. Whoops. Instead, maybe just talk to her like she's a fucking person. What moving? How can we go down there? Into the like life stream. Uh oh. Uh oh. Bye. 
up every time you're trying to run, I say, as VV falls on his butt. Oh, it's creepy. Those roots that are popped up all over the place. That's fucked up, yo! Uh, Zambo tree. He is a Zambo tree. Everything down here is a Zambo. Tell him, BB. Dude, that is some Joe Abercrombie shit. I have seen the end of my thousand year life, and it is not now. Shogling was talking shit. If I had known, I would have worn more armor. <laughs> He's just like in his underpants fighting a battle. I love that Craw is like, he'll have his ass out by the end of this. <laughs> Aww. I know, I love wearing a fly. I'm sad that he's really only in like one book and a short story. Yeah. Soul Cage, can I- is he actually a Zambo? Can I heal for him by healing? Oh, well, I'm about to try. Uh, yes. Dope. Uh-oh, level 5 death. Please don't do that. started. did kill her. Um, I should have taken the reflect ring off of Quinna, but she- Quinna is always jumping out of my party, like, the weirdest times. Okay, that doesn't matter. Can 
never quite anticipated. Please don't kill your girl right now. Fuck. kills him. Twice! Alright, I guess I shouldn't have been fucking around. gonna get this one attack. Nope. Oh, just hurry it up already. Too. Oh, okay, good. It's gonna put me right before. Oh, well, unfortunately, it's gonna put me right before. Which means I can't respec anything either. Well, we're just going into this hard. I'm also not at full health. Because I, well, I forgot that this was down here, so I didn't heal before. again. Because I have to take a round to heal everybody back to full. 
when the casters could have been healing his Zambo ass. Um, I wonder if life would hurt him more. Normally I'd be stealing from him, but I whooped my ass last time, so I'm not gonna fap about. Oh damn it. BD is a berserk. Wish I'd known that was a possibility before I came down here. I could have protected against that. Just big, angry. Uh, oh, he's dead. He's got a lot of health. I'm just gonna have him do the regular lap. Because that's pretty hard. Cut it out. Berserk. I think that, like, kills you, actually. I'm not sure what that is. But I think it randomly kills you. I think that's... Yeah, there she goes. I was gonna say, I'm pretty sure that's what happened to, uh, ya boy. just AP and I don't think she really has much to learn right now anyway. Let's run! There goes the mist. Just ebbs away. Dope. I guess the sun just burns it off real quick. Unfortunately, all of the airships now fall out of the sky. <laughs> Hopefully they have enough reserve power to land. Oh, he's sleeping in the hallway. I guess so.
We're just gonna wait here all day? See if he just man like r randomly shows up? Be like, you guys turn off the mist. Why happen? Um. Yeah, so they can't make any more. But I think it's really fucked up that they make them and they just like wake up after having murdered people. And then they have to live with that, figure out what it means to be alive, and they only have a year. It's awful. Nope. I don't think so. I think they'll understand. Oh. They'll understand, Vivi. Kuja's not going to show up. <laughs> Let's save so I don't have to do that fight again. Although it wasn't honestly that bad the second time around. I uh, fucked around and found out. That'll happen. Uh, I think everybody learned some shit too, but... I don't think they have new equipment anyway, so I think, yeah, she learned everything. I guess she can learn high tide, but like, what's the point? Scan? Why not? Go ahead and learn scan. And I think that now that she's got some new stuff on, she can <laughs> equip Jelly. Because she can't be petrified. Although, that doesn't matter so much anymore because those penis trees were the only thing I'd encountered that did petrify. <laughs> that is very silly. Neither one of these is particularly useful right now, but whatever. Man, I kind of have to pee. I'm drinking too much coffee. Ugh, I ran in a circle. Or koofy, as my mug says. Big spoder. That thing isn't creepy at all. 
It's super gross. Oh, it's a beetle. On ye counter. Wondering where on earth Koopo is. Because I have a letter for him. Oh, here they come. They're hustling on up. here. What's her nuts? We'll get it back, girl. Crying doesn't help. <laughs> it might make you feel better a little bit. But the best thing to do is get on with it. Figure it out. Oh, kiddo. No, it's not your fault. It doesn't have anything to do with it. They're unrelated. Yes. We'll go beat her up. She's really annoying. Kicked her ass one time. We can do it again. Yes. We know, girl. Okay. Poor kid. I thought you said you were gonna let off with the lines. Yes. Ominous music. Hey, can one of you guys, like, let me save? <laughs> that would be nice. Before 
go in on this. Ethers wouldn't be out of order either. Well, dang it. You bitch. Save, but apparently that's not a thing you can help me with. Oh, little Mog. Oh, little Mog, you can be brave. I need to sneeze. I'm sneezing like crazy the last two weeks. Rude. <laughs> no. Just like it, you say. Maybe. Oh, maybe. Oh, fuck. It's this guy. Good catch, Zidane. <laughs> you, you bitch! She's six. Everyone's old to her. Uh, only he gets to beat me up? Is it this trope? I don't really remember what Amaranth's motivations are. He sure is. I also don't understand why his neck is shaped like this. It comes like straight out of his shoulders. <laughs> nice. She trot. I mean, we beat her once. We could have done it again. Damn it. <laughs> All right, why not? <laughs>
Oh, mono e mono, huh? Well, I'm about to hit trance, so... Solution 9. to the other side of the bouncing all over the place. I wonder if I should steal from them. What are you doing over there, bud? and only time trance has been convenient. You sure did, like real bad. Sedane's like, uh, I'm not gonna murder you if that's what you want. And now that we beat him, he's gonna follow us around, right? Like Logan Nine Finger style. Okay, bye. <laughs> no. You came after us. You're the thief. Okay, bye. Why does it look exactly like garnets? Oh no. <laughs> what a good kid. Mm, I don't need to worry about ethering him. He doesn't really use his, uh, MP much. Yeah, no problem. I wonder where Quinna went. I meant to do it that time. Um, I guess maybe she... Back to the marsh? That's usually where we can pick them up again. Probably not the best place to store this. Yeah, it's probably fine. Why not? You can't just leave a six-year-old girl in this village all by herself. I mean, I guess she's got the moogles. Yeah, Vivi, you're the other kid in our group. <laughs> oh, Vivi. Yeah. You go. Memory earring. Oh, Mog. 
Thing, kid. What are you gonna hit on Mog too? Does he still have protect girls on? I put that on him for like very briefly. Okay, good. He doesn't. I was gonna say because he never protects girls, so. are two people in my party that are girls. <laughs> oh. A song, you say? That boat looks familiar. <laughs> the betrothed. Oh my gosh. Stop laying all these lines on her. No. It's just a compliment parade. Give me compliments. I said give me compliments. <laughs> Our whole party. Oh my god, Freya and Steiner are going to be so behind when we get them back. him on the spot. Why do you think? Because you're a cute girl. Ibsen and his good friend Colin worked at a tavern in Trino. One day Ibsen got a letter. The letter was so wet from rain that most of the writing was illegible. The only part he could read said, come back home. Nowadays, we have airships and stuff, but back then it was really hard to travel. He didn't know why he had to go back, but he got some time off, gathered his things, and set out on his journey home. He walked a thousand leagues through the mist. Sometimes he was attacked by vicious monsters, but he made it because his friend Colin was by his side. 
And then, after much time on the road, he had to ask Colin something. Why did you come with me? Only because I wanted to go with you. <laughs> and we drift out into the grotto. Hi, Titan. I do like the progression, how he, like, slowly becomes more and more, uh, genuine. Before, he's hitting on her, but it's all, like, tongue-in-cheek, and he hits on everybody. But I do think that their, um... Their romantic progression is much more realistic than in a lot of the other games. Like, in 8, it just kind of happens, like, immediately. Squall is like, mm, whatever. For, like, the vast majority of the game. Um, until your girl gets... Oh, man. Sad memories. Until Renoa gets um, possessed, basically. And then he's like, oh my god, she's hurt. I can't stand it. And then in 10, like, you're supposed to believe that Titus and Yuna have this, like, deep bond. But they've only known each other, like, two weeks. Uh, and honestly, they're both such incredibly wooden and stilted characters that, like, it's just not believable. And then in 7, it's all about Cloud and Tifa, which isn't really realized, but they try to shoehorn Aerith in there, which I hate. Why would they tell you? They were trying to pass you off as the princess. Here. They left at the time of the disaster. Because you're a summoner. You're a summoner, Garnet! I mean, nobody really remembers anything from when they were, like, six, other than really vague notions and impressions. Unless something major happened to them, I guess. You would remember that. One of the first things I remember, um, I must have been really young, and, um, my dad took me to see a night launch, um, a shuttle launch in NASA, and that was really cool. It's like one of my biggest memories. He um, had me on his shoulders so that I could see it. I mean, you could see it from wherever you were, to be honest with you, because it was like um, a rocket launch at night, but uh, he held me on his shoulders so I could see above people. I could see the sky. That was one of my first memories. And I think, uh, well, not I think, I know, because we're from Houston, um, but we were on vacation. And we, uh, it was a Disney cruise. My sister is old enough to remember it, but I don't remember anything except for the shuttle launch. So I guess it is really, like, the big things that imprint when you're that, that young and not anything else. Yep, that sucks. And her adopted mother only wanted her for her Eidolons. 
It's pretty tragic. There's Atomos. And I guess that's Fenris there. Ugh, Atomos is so creepy. It's just a big mouth. <laughs> Welcome back. Oh, Aiko. You're not the last summoner. You have a sister. There you go. You would have understood. so pretty. It really, really holds up. She is. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't really have, like, a face. Boo, boo, boo. Here she comes. Oh, hi, Titan. Want to sit on my lap? All the moogles. Come on, girl. Oh, good kitty. Nope, now she's going off the other side. <laughs> she just wanted to walk over my lap. this guy. You spared me, so now I have to follow you around a lot. Many tropes. But seriously, why is his head like that? <laughs> in relation to his body. His neck just goes like straight out. Hmm, now that I know about. <laughs> mm. What makes you so strong? Sure, why not? The flaming amaranth. What does that mean? <laughs> it's a mystery. Get the people going. People are interested in me because of my mystery. Don't let him get in his zone. Uh, I just left him as Amaranth. I've only been naming ya boy and ya girl. Kanye? <laughs> but I did let him get in this zone, and then I beat the fuck out of him. So, I mean... He wasn't really in it. Well, maybe that is his zone. His zone isn't that good. His zone kinda sucks. TBH. Always. Yeah, she must chomp. She she grab and then she chomp. 
She's the most handsy cat I've ever had. She grab quite a bit. Oh man, I got poison knuckles for you and you can't even use them. Oh, he has to start like from the bottom. Now we here. Now he nowhere, because he has so much shit to learn. Ah! Ugh. And I gotta get these bitches to learn all their summons. But it is kind of useless for me to have, like... Wait, why do I... Oh yeah, because she can't learn any other summons right now. Well then, bye! Bye, bitch, bye! Uh, how do I... No, no, that's not what I want. No, that's not what I want either. How do I change out my party? Oh, fuck. I can't. Um... I want my BB back. Well, we'll just deal with this for now. Back to Conda Petty. Let's go to the Q's Marsh and see if we can pick up Quinna. We'll go back through here. You're gonna get bit. She, she bite. The Titan. She bite me. Why did you touch her? If you touch her, she will bite. That's how the Titan do. That's true. That is one reason to have pets, I guess. Gems on gems on gems. Oh, is he laying with his like legs all splayed out? Good boy. Oh, I guess it's just an item. The, the earring. Yep, memory earring. The treasure of the summoner tribe, Ico's memento. An Andrea's tragedy. <laughs> what could it mean? Hi, Suzuna. I want mail. Oh my good gracious, I have to pee so bad. <laughs> Yeah. 
Yes. There's the Oglops. Yes. This is how we came in. Sure is. Hey, buddy, hey. Nope. Hi, Mogmat. I want mail. Okay, that's it. I gotta pee. I'll be right back. <laughs> I need to get a oh, stupid hair. I need to get a bio break thing screen. Um, was I supposed to like talk to people or am I just going back the way I came to the continent, I guess? Uh, sure. Oh, dope! Can I give you, like, multiple Oglops? Because I caught three. Dip. Doggy. <laughs> that guy's just never working. Everybody's just saying the same shit. We did meet the Pinty Heads. I guess we should go back and um, tell them what we did with the mist. So I'm gonna head back. What's with that hole? Oh, that's where I came from. Duh. Um. So I'm gonna go back to the. Black Mages, and then I gotta go to Q's Marsh and pick up Quinna. Pretty sure Quinna's there. Seems to be where Quinna goes to when Quinna gets separated from the group. The closest marsh. That's how the Quinna do. Oh, 
Hawaii auto region. Okay, can she switch that out now? Oh, it's just on her uh, loot. Her flot. I don't have another flot to replace it with anyway. She's been very good and mostly just sitting on the peninsula today. A lot of times she's like in front of my monitor a ton and in and out of my uh, lap. And being cute and annoying. <laughs> what my kitty do. Oh. oh boy. A heck of a crook. Zidane's just like, get fucked. This is a very weird party. Honestly, the only reason I really took Vivi out is because um, he doesn't really have anything he can learn right now. So I want to give... Um, Amaranth, and I figured I needed to give my summoners time to learn their summons, but I forgot that Garnet doesn't really have um, anything to learn right now. It's mostly Ico. I mean, she has like random abilities to learn, but not summons. And then I think Amaranth maybe finish it up. Oh, such a convenient trance. <laughs> the most convenient timing. Good job, I can. Literally the only time this... In like, the whole game I've ever had a convenient trance was Zidane went into trance fighting Amaranth. That was it. Every other time, it's been, like, some random battle. They don't even get a turn with it. Very, very useful. Another one of these guys, but in a forest. <laughs> Yourself, my girl. As soon as I can, I think I'm gonna switch out your girl for Quinna or VB. Leave Aiko as my main healer so that she can learn um, all her summons. So I'm coming to the Black Mage Village and I don't have VV on my party, which is kind of... Me too, buddy. Maybe can't, we can't inform them of what we did with the mist? I don't really remember. Can you gain weight? I mean, I guess they're biological. Oh, that's nice, buddy. Mr. 44 got bigger. <laughs> oh my gosh, they're so cute. Yeah, I think I've bought everything I really need from here. Um, I don't have one of these. Or one of these. Cool. Now we might have more stuff to learn. Hi, guys. Uh, well, I didn't bring him with me, which is... Oh, buddy. Kinda silly, I guess. Let's see if that chocobo's hatched. I 
<laughs> it is nice. Hey, Magrio. I guess we already carried his letter. Well, I guess this was a little bit of a pointless trip, other than I got to visit the synthesis shop. Vivi was talking about how he wanted to let them know about the mist, um, and then I didn't bring him with me. <laughs> like a big old doofus. Well, that's okay. Okay, now we'll go to the marsh. And then after that, I'm probably gonna hop off for the night. Uh, cause it's getting a little late. I got a test to take tomorrow. Because it never ends. There's always a test to take, or an essay to write, or eight million pages to read in my federal taxation book. Often all of them on the same day. he reappears. And I'll attack the other guy instead. Rude. Oh my goodness, I thought he was gonna disappear. Okay, so the original guy is back. assign him anything. Um, let's go antibody. Could learn chakra faster. How silly of me. Uh, counter one. Hundred percent. We've already got alert on, so I don't need that. Insomniac would be good. Stupid beast killer. What are those goblins? Are those also beasts? Humanoid. Whatever. We'll just do that. God knows how they're classified. I think Kupo is the uh, Moogle and Fossil Rue that we excavated. So I'll have to make sure to bring this letter to him. Wait, is Quina not here? Fuck. Where in the heck is Quina? They're always just wherever the frogs are at. Uh oh. This is a problem because I know in the last um, area, if you didn't pick Quinna back up again, I, you didn't get them. You just lost them, I think? Shit, where did Quinna go? Uh-oh. I might have to consult with a guide. Because I would like Quinna back, please. 
Big frog boy. He getting toad. Ugh. Gross. I'm gonna pop back out of this marsh and save and hop off for the night. And I'll go look up what the heck it is that I'm supposed to do with Quina. Maybe Quina just pops back up along the way, because that's kind of how Quina is. They're very precocious. They just kind of do what they want. Alright, I'm gonna double save again, as is my want, because... I had that one scare that one time. Well, it was actually twice that it reloaded like old save data and I don't even know where that got it from. I think it was my other save and it just auto-loaded one. I don't know, whatever. Anyway, I'll be back tomorrow in the morning with um, Mass Effect Andromeda and then New Vegas in the evening. So I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.